by Mac. And then next Friday, a week from today, is going to be the final finals. All right, here we go. Race is off and running. We're off. We got Armadillo versus Normal Cadence. Uh, a quick Nazar charm find. Yep. That can come in handy on four. Yep, zone four or uh, two and three if you take the uh, ring of phasing. Ring of phasing yeah. is probably the reason to have that. Um, you don't have to worry about those stupid guys up in your grill. Interesting, Lancer taking a little bit of a different strat than Horde here. I think it'll end up paying off for him as he ignores the, uh, the Minotaur to have him come back. Whereas Horde sort of chases him down. Didn't actually seem to have too much of an impact. So maybe I'm totally wrong. Yeah. About that. And uh, both that racers. was a little bit of an adventure Minotaur. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, it really didn't seem to cost them that many beats. They're both very close no, together. No, really didn't. Ooh, Lancer getting a bit of a surround there with those bat uh -oh. RNG, but what he probably should have done is drop that holy water, maybe? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, that might have worked. Ooh, but now he took another dunk uh -oh. from a ghost there. He's only at one heart. This is a little sketchy. Yeah. Ooh, and he's seeing that Shrine of Darkness the last second before dropping down. And I Oh, and he jumped into a black skeleton. That's... That's pretty surprising. That's Ugh. very surprising. Uh, I feel like he's playing a little um, shaky, a little shakier than he normally does. Lancer's a pretty solid yeah, player. Looks like it. Yeah. Sunglasses pick up for Horde. Yeah, he did get the sunglasses. Hasn't gotten the darkness, but this actually gives Lancer the opportunity to pick up that Shrine of Darkness. And he also, as you may have noticed, left that blue slime alive, so he didn't have the Adventure Minotaur. So Lancer playing his, uh, I guess, advantage of already knowing the levels. Um, but, of course, disadvantage now of being behind, and that's a five yeah. damage glass longsword for Horde Trimbles. Nice. Not too shabby. Not at all. This also offers Lancer the option to sort of scout out what the opponent gets and says, oh, maybe I do want a glass longsword. All right, so mm -hmm. I, I imagine he's going to be getting that Shrine of Darkness. It's so strong in racing, and at this tier, these are both very good racers. Yep. He's going yeah. for it. He is. And oh, with a 2-1 Conjure Shop, that Shrine of Darkness could be so strong. And I have yeah. a feeling we're going to see a pretty large difference between our two racers. Um, Although, as long as he doesn't conjure himself to defeat like we saw earlier this season. <laughs> with Pants. Oh my god, yes. Pants. I'll never forget how amazing that was. It was <laughs> kept conjuring for like three minutes. Oh my goodness. All right, and, uh, and I feel like Horde sort of slowed down a little, um, although yeah. I feel like it's not the time to slow down. Like, he's not taking that no. trap door. He really just needs to keep moving. Um, Lancer is very hot on his heels. It's a Banshee, so you might as well... Oh, and he oh, gets dunked by the, said Banshee. And I gotta say, that had something to do with those sunglasses. I mean, I could be wrong, mm -hmm. but you'll see in a second. Possibly. Um, that he ends up just kind of jumping into the mushroom and uh, not seeing the little mushroom wiggle, the the animation ended up, yeah, yep. ended up getting hit. Well, he he had a banshee, so we should have just taken the trap door. Banshee trap doors aren't all that hard. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he should have taken that trap door long before um, he even was in that situation. I feel, um, especially in these races, mm -hmm. but maybe he just thought he he had a little extra time. I don't know. Looks like Lancer's gonna actually miss the conjure shop. He went the other way around, um, using his map uh -huh. to his advantage, but missing out on that conjure shop, and that's gonna hurt a little bit because that conjure shop would have got him a different ring. It would have got him a better weapon, better boots, armor. Yeah. Well, he picked up a defense charm. Yeah, that'll help and a little. And a... Gets... Yeah, obsidian. Obsidian foil. City and Flail, which will be a little bit safer um, now that we've seen Horde go down. Yeah. Jack calling for some people to hop into the salt mines. So if you uh, are at all interested in doing some voice chat uh, with some of the racers, um, there's the Salt Palace in the. Um, if you're part of Season 4. Um, if you're a racer in Season 4, you need to talk about it. Just as a shout out to that. And. Oh, we got a luck charm now. Uh, we do have a or luck charm, up. and on the other side, we've got or a ring of a mana. So oh, far, nice. no use for that, but, you know, three damage flails, not bad getting them through zone two, but, uh, it gets a little spicy comes up. Oh, three. and he gets dunked by a giant black skeleton. Oh, weird, man. Horde had Horde. all kind, and seeing that, um, Yeah, but he also, he, 
Yeah, he took some damage too from uh, swapping out headgear. He had a crown of thorns he kept jumping on and off of. Oh man. And then got dunked by the uh, black skeleton, the giant black skeleton there. Um, now I'm surprised that Lancer's not taking this spear here. Oh, never mind, he took it. Yeah, me too. I was gonna say, the spear, even though flails are, um, safe. Oh, this is scary. Um, yeah, they're kind of... Oh, they're there a bit of go. a nuisance and so far. Oh, jeweled dagger, will he take it, though? Oh, and there's an oh, interesting question. Do you take the Ring of Peace instead of the Ring of Mana? And I think 100% you do. Although he just got himself a Fireball spell, so scratch that. He's in good shape now. Fireball mana is yeah. really super strong. I was gonna say, you know, yes, take it the is. piece, it's safer, you're way ahead, but now that he's got fireball mana, he's in he's in really good shape. Oh yeah. Yeesh. This is a this I guess is a pretty rough seed. We've had both of our racers kind of going down early. Um mm -hmm. a little bit unexpected. I mean this late in the season, uh, you wouldn't expect yeah. this much death and dismay, but perhaps. Um, it's both of the racers pushing each other. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe also. That will do it. Um, maybe they thought they were kind of out of the tournament for a little while. I mean, we did the the draw on Monday, so they had since Monday to to prep for this tournament. So I really don't know if they have that excuse. Uh, picking up some ballet slippers, which is actually pretty good uh, with that obsidian spear. As yeah. you saw there, he just wasted a beat, and if he hadn't those shoes, he would be pretty dead right now. That is. That's the one good thing with Obsidian, is getting the cheater shoes. Yes, the cheater shoes, which are no longer cheater shoes IRL, but in, uh, but we can still call them that. Because <laughs> wasn't that that they, I've, like, saved you from doing Aria? Yeah, that's how, that's how they got their nickname. Right. It's just stuck with me. <laughs> I've always called them cheater shoes. Right, right. And you gotta go for a ring here. If you can get the wombo combo, nope. Horde of Triples does not get the ring of phasing. He did pick up the dagger phasing and has the plus one damage with the sunglasses. Three ring damage dagger phasing. He me at it. Lanter had a ring of a ring of courage out of his boss chest and transmuted it, and it became a obsidian longsword. Interesting. Didn't want the Obsidian Longsword. I think the Longsword's actually quite good compared to the Spear in Zone 4. I imagine that some people may debate me on that, but I think that because of the um, the reach, sometimes you shoot over top of... Um, like, you get the Blade Masters with, like, a Warlock behind. It's actually pretty good. Lucky Charm pick up for Lancer and getting a little... Lancer yeah, just got... Yeah. Got Pumba Damn, damn I'm... Yes, he did. Uh, Will Arsene pointing out that, that Horde has been reluctant to, to drop beats, and yeah, especially when you're rocking a dagger, that's really important. Um, although he's got the Courage dagger phasing, which is one of my favorite combos in the entire game. That is a nice combo. It's a little sp spicy in Zone 3 here with the, the ice, but it's mm -hmm. a very nice combo. Yeah. And he just, let's see, is he gonna keep the, the, the spear? Looks like he will. He may. Yeah, he almost slipped and slided right into that, that Banshee there. Mm -hmm. um, but he does have he's quite the, the, the disadvantage here to surmount. He's uh, pretty behind. Yeah. He's what, like a zone behind? Yeah, Drunken Ugly, if you have a lot of uh, health and, yeah, like a potion or something, then, yeah, you can really use that transmute to your advantage. Not quite as strong as like a conjure shop with darkness, but it's still quite good. It's something I don't take it. That's probably something I don't take advantage of myself much as uh, transmute. Yeah, it's one of those sort of. I don't know. It's it's got some like. It's very situational there, yeah. though. Ooh, horde of triples going down. Looks like a, a oh, ice man. slam. The diagonal moving ice lines can be a little wonky sometimes. I actually really liked Horde's build. He did pick up the uh, Obsidian Broadsword, which is one of my favorite weapons now. Especially with the Many of my Melody Deathless runs in because of those ice lines. Oh yeah, absolutely. They can be real weird on Melody too. Nice Dead Ringer fight. Yep, easy peasy. Lancer is on to his Necrodance fight. Shield Scroll, that might be interesting. 
Well, I mean, it's gonna at least afford him an enormously long shield, which will be cool. Yeah. Got a butt puzzle, though. Mm. Now, how many bombs does he have? Two? I think so. All right, yeah, so he's gonna, oh. Yeah, oh, he's really taking his time, even removing the loot first, and then working his way around the stage to open the uh, Necrodancer out. Now this, and using that greater shield, so he's gonna actually have a shield for pretty much this entire fight. Mm -hmm. Probably wishing Dorian had a shield there, as Dorian gets a little bit hit. Yeah, now, yeah he did have Dorian next door, but... Yeah, you don't want that. Being stacked up against Dorian can be real dangerous sometimes. Especially if the Necrodancer spawns on the side where Dorian is. Although, fortunately, he has all three turnips on the stage, so that'll minimize spawns. Yeah, but he did have to oh. release two of the um, black skeletons, yeah. and so the spawns weren't as minimal as they would be in typical and there we go. turnip strats. But yeah, GG. Sub 11 minutes. GG uh, pretty Lancer. long race, though, um, for these two racers. But you know, that's what yeah, happens. Yeah, especially when you... this late in the season. But when you race, I mean, that's what happens sometimes is is you play off your opponent. You're not just pushing as, as fast as you can. And so, yeah, that's what ends up happening. So that means it's one win for Lancer. Now, reminder that this is, in fact, a best of three, not a uh, not a three match. So this could end with one more race as Lancer is going up against Horde. But GG's, GG's. Horde, and I thought uh, I wanted to show favoritism, but I would love to see all the matches go the 2-1 tonight. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Well, and then the final match go 3-2, to because it is best of five yeah. as the final. Oh, yeah, that's right. A um, little bit of chit-chat back and forth in the chat there. Um, not feeling too hype about their dying in the races. <laughs> Just got to yeah. shake it off Taylor Swift style and move on. All right, so Lancer with one win and just waiting for Lancer to ready up. There we go. All right, good luck, have fun, racers. See if, Best of luck, uh, guys. See if Tribbles can- Maybe uh, this will be a more forgiving seed here. That seed was a little rude. There was some bad dragon placement. Yeah. Um, it wasn't helping at all in the first uh, zone. To give you any goods but most racers should be able to make it through zone one pretty much without anything here we go off and running we're off let's yeah. see how this let's Race see two. what this seed has in store both racers pretty much neck and neck. Mm -hmm. taking the exact same route nice use of the bomb trap to dispose of the minotaur yeah it was very nice actually and that, that added to uh horde getting a little bit more of a lead here um, just yeah. that sort of uh, location optimization can really impact mm. how the race goes. Glass Horde see. pick up. This is a very gross situation here for Horde. <laughs> yes. Um, but he managed to keep all yeah. the bats in the bat cave, whereas Lancer's got bats all up in his hair. Look yep. out! Make them do the Star Knight seed, yeah. <laughs> so much glass, I remember. I usually avoid the glass torch, but you know, I, I do deathless runs mostly, so I well, want to try to keep aggro to a minimum. That's true, but this might be a situation, because I think a lot of racers also avoid the glass torch, but this might be a situation where if your opponent takes the glass torch, you gotta take the glass torch. Yeah. Because. I mean, it does give you that uh, pseudo mapping. Well, it's a pretty strong mapping, especially if you take a peek yeah. at your, at your um, mini map. And actually, Horde too. doing some more great work with the uh, environment, cracking open that wall, but not jumping down the trapdoor. He's going to scoot over to that, that mm -hmm. cracked wall, and I think that's not worth it. I mean, it is 1-3, which means if it's a blood shop, it's going to be good stuff, but it's not a blood shop. It's a trans Yeah, the transmog. Now, he is transmogging, looking for that blood shovel. Glass shovel's all right. He got the glass shovel. But yeah, he is going to be a little bit behind Lancer, but we got death metal, zone one. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Time to use some bomb strats here. Absolutely. This is gross. This is this is one of the worst zone one fights you can possibly have. Oh yeah. Especially if you don't have bombs. Yeah, well yeah, especially bombless. Now that was a nice use of the bomb there to make this fight a lot easier. Horde Tribbles. City and Rapier pickup. Nice. Hello. Really good weapon. So lots of mapping and a great weapon. 
gonna be able to go very scooty in this I think that glass shovel, we'll see if that ends up making any sort of difference between the two racers. Now that Lancer is a little bit ahead, and the reason being is he didn't spend the time in mm -hmm. that uh, transmute shop. But yeah, we'll see. Oh man, these armadillos are kind of psyching me out a little bit with Lancer's skin, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. it's part of the rules. Yep. Oh, no such thing as a 1-3 blood shop. I need that. Why did I think that? I'm still waking up, guys. <laughs> but yeah, that's right. If you see a cracked wall on uh, on one three, it is not going to be your blood shop. It's going to be transmute or whatever the other one is. Oh my god, my brain is not functioning. Conjurer. Yeah, <laughs> conjurer. That's right. And we got deep blues for zone two. Yeah, I didn't see what the loadout was there. It could have been the straight up the middle victory. If it was, then Horde has a chance of gaining a little bit of ground here. Um, uh, what squig you... a suit in the shop, but yep, not doesn't look it up, like not he can afford money. it. That's expensive. Titanium cat. Yeah, Conjure's... Wait, Conjure is a level one wall. All right, I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind, Chad. <laughs> All right, yeah, that is a three damage cat, um, which... Is an interesting switch. It is. A lot of racers would, I think a lot of high-end racers would certainly do it. Um, it's not safer, I don't think, but it is very fast. Mm-hmm. And he has the sunglasses. Ooh, and that was a nice and little find there. Spell. Ray of Courage in 3-2 shop for Lancer. And uh, mm. with that two damage spear, it's now a three damage Courage spear, which is really, really good. Nice. I'm curious if Horde, if he finds that um, Ring of Courage, if he's going to take it Yeah. Uh, with the cat. Because Courage Cat is spooky. Yes, it is. Yeah, he didn't end up taking the Obsidian Rocket there, uh, Necro Rebel. I thought he may, but he decided to swap. And I don't hate it. Oh, this is a gross little layout here with this dragon. And, and wisely playing mm. with that Courage, knowing exactly how to deal with all of them. Gonna be mm -hmm. missing out. He grabbed his gold there to make sure to not spawn the leprechaun, maybe? I oh, guess. Man, this, this exit was gross. The confused yeah, that was. All right, well, we're not seeing Horde going into that shop. Now, he must have taken a peek. The door's open, so I guess maybe he just... Oh, and he doesn't have a shovel. Why doesn't uh -oh. he have a shovel? He lost a shovel. What happened? Did it break? Yes, it, it must have. Oh, Didn't man. Wound up leaving it behind. But uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Slightly, especially if he doesn't get a shovel before Zone 4. Yeah, Zone 4 is really tricky without a shovel. It's possible now, but it's tricky. Mm -hmm. All right, well, uh, and you can see he's trying to dig because that's just the natural state of being in this game. You can dig. Yep. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is an unfortunate oh, situation. Lord. We'll see if he can somehow manage to come back from this. Uh, now well, there's a miner's shot. cap at least. You've got to take the miner's cap. Yep. And actually getting rid of those sunglasses isn't the worst thing in the world. I find they kind of no, troll me, but of course isn't. putting them down to two damage instead of having the three damage. Yeah. Yeah, neck rubble, but that's such an easy thing to do because you just, you don't think... You don't normally check to see if you have a shovel before you do something. Well, the miner's cap was a nice find, uh, considering his situation. Um, I guess he's not terribly far behind, especially considering being down that shovel like yeah. that. Yeah. And Lancer with a war drum pickup. Do like a good war drum pickup. That's going to be really helpful. Um, it's going to give him an easy golem kill, which will allow him to clear yeah. golems with only one hit, which is nice considering no, sh uh, no socks. Or boots. Yep. Mostly boots. Mm -hmm. uh, zone 4 with yep. no boots is a pain. It is a pain. And we got Zone 4 no shovel. So get ready, chat. You're going to see exactly what happens when you have no shovel going to Zone 4. That's right. Uh, four of those goblin diggers. Four goblin sentries hanging out. Now, he doesn't really need to worry about the goblin sentry strats because he does have the miner's cap. And finding some bombs there, too, which is really good. So both of our racers are good for bombs right now. Mm -hmm. 
It's certainly not over. Uh, Lancer's not in the most comfortable of positions here. Oh, he doesn't have enough for the war drum. Oh, that's a pain. One cent off from the war drum. War drum would have been nice yep. there. Oh, this is getting a little gross here. Once that dragon lines up, it's going to be problems. Okay, he was very yeah. careful to avoid the dragon breath. Very good. Now, um, he five. does have that heal spell he should be using. Yep, there it is. Will he go? Nope, he's not going back for the war drum. Although, given the circumstances, I don't really blame him. His yeah. Lancer's already on dead ringer. Yeah, he's running a little bit, a little bit behind here. Lancer wisely doing the luring strats on dead ringer. Smart call there. Let's see if he can uh, just play it nice and safe. And Horde picking up a uh, a ring of might, which is gonna give him a little extra damage. That's nice. Yeah. But yeah, Horde of Tribbles is uh, not speeding up as much as he should. He should be just bypassing all these enemies, pushing. Oh, exactly what you want to see on the Dead Ringer fight: a ring of gold. Oh yeah, that'll be good. Good thing he found that. Yep. <laughs> all right. So yeah. four three Third without a shovel, three. you know. At least yep. that. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, took a couple dunks from that bat there. Ooh. You're going to want your uh, Luck Charm. Now, for the record, um, Luck Charm has actually been banned in the finals. So there will be no ah. Luck Charms. Um, that was discussed. Ooh, interesting pickup here. Going with the Obsidian Crossbow. crossbow. It's going to be way too little too late, though, as Lancer does yep. kill the Necrodancer. And that is going to... Uh, Push Lancer on to the next round and Good eliminate job, Horde. Lancer. So I just want to say a ma major GG's to Horde for his efforts yeah, in the tournament. But he is functionally eliminated, unfortunately. But let's all give him some yeah. love and chat. Great job, um, especially throwing a very interesting run in there for his last run. Um, yeah. With the uh, shovelless miner's cap meme tastic. So uh, Luck Charm is not banned in the play-in tournament. I want to make sure that's absolutely clear that it's not banned in this play-in tournament today. Starting tomorrow, it will be banned, which means that none of the racers will be taking it. Um, so I hope that's...